Hi, this is Frank, and I want to show you one of the more bizarre but beautiful plants that we have here at the Arboretum. This is Aristolochia gigantea brasiliensis. It's one of the largest single flowers on Earth. It's also an insect trapping plant, a catch and release flower to be exact. Everything about the flower is aimed at attracting flies and midges, from the bloom's meat-like appearance to its weirdly pleasant lemon pledge smell. So here's how it all goes down. The fly is attracted to the throat of the bloom by the lemon pledge smell and the bright translucent yellow spot located right at the entrance of the inner portions of the bloom. Then the fly goes down the throat through a forest of hair-like trichomes. Not a big deal because they're pointing downwards, the same direction that the fly is following because of the irresistible lemon pledge smell. Once inside the flower, the fly is met by the plant's receptive female organs. If the fly is coated in pollen from another Restolochia gigantea, then the plant is fertilized and sets seed. However, whether or not the flower is pollinated, the fly finds itself trapped by the downward pointing stiff hair-like trichomes. They are an overnight guest, more like a prisoner, of the flower until its receptive female parts start to wither and the adjacent pollen producing male parts swell and start shedding pollen. Interestingly, if the flower is not pollinated by the insect's actions, then after the pollen-coated fly leaves the flower, the bloom falls off of the vine and rots on the ground, which attracts more flies to the blooming vine. 